guys, Darth Deuce is here with another video, and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 figures of 2016. Um, I must apologize, but this list is going to be pretty bland in the sense that it's pretty much just comprising of Star Wars of Black Series figures and Marvel Legends figures, but I really haven't been really picking up anything else, or anything else that I have been picking up that hasn't been part of those two lines that have been from previous years. So for, for the figures I'm going to show, um, as far as I can remember, they're all released in 2016. So without further ado, we'll get on with it. Uh, I'm going to do some honorable mentions really quickly. So first up, I have the 3 and 3 corners Director Krennic. This is a really nicely done uh, figure, especially in the 5 PUA line. He has good accessories, um, great sculpt, good paint apps. And really the only thing that lets him down is uh, articulation. If he had the articulation, he'd probably be on the actual list. Um, next figure I wanted to put on the list, but I held off because technically not a new figure for 2016, but it's the 2016 Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch Royal Guard. Um, this is a new figure for me, but it was technically released in the Vintage Collection line in like 2012. Um, it's a really, really awesome figure. The only thing that's keeping it off my top 10 list is the fact that it's technically not a new figure. Um, but if it was a completely new figure, it 100% would be on my list. So this is an excellent, excellent 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Probably one of my favorite Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. It's super cool. Uh, next is the Marvel Legends Punisher figure. Walgreens exclusive, or up here in Canada, EB Games exclusive, I guess. Um, I was tempted to put this guy on the list, but I held off. He is really cool. Um, articulation's good for the most part. Accessories are pretty good, and the sculpts and paint's pretty good as well. But he can be a little bit painful to stand up sometimes, and getting uh, um, action poses, aiming poses can be difficult. And the fact that I had to actually cut trigger fingers when he he didn't have any just sculpted in the first place it was kind of dumb but this was a really close one in the top 10 but just didn't make the cut but it is a really cool figure i really do like this one a lot and last the honorable mentions is the black series six inch ahsoka tano for a lot of people this might be on their top 10. for me it was close but it just couldn't well the sculpt and paint apps for the most part are really good accessories are good articulation is just okay there's quite a bit of hindering of the articulation, especially in the hip area. She can also be a pain to stand. And for some reason, her right hand really doesn't want to hold the lightsaber really well, which really pisses me off. It really is annoying. So that kept her from being on the top 10, but it's still a really cool Black Series figure. Now onto the actual list with number 10. And these are just loose rankings. They could switch and swap depending on my mood and the time of day. So, but for right now, top number 10 is the Farm Boy Luke Skywalker figure. Um, you probably think I'm crazy that I'm putting this figure on the list and not putting the Ahsoka figure, but I actually am one of the few people who actually do like this figure. Articulation is awesome for a Black Series figure. You can get so many cool poses out of him. I got a decent one here, but you can get so many cool poses out of him. Um, he's a little lighter on the accessories that I would like, but it's still not too bad. I think the soft goods actually work pretty well for this figure. And the skull and paint's really not that bad. The head sculpt's a little dry. He's pretty bland, but that's pretty much what just keeps him at high on the list at number 10, just because the head sculpt just leaves a lot to be desired. But aside from that, I really think it's not a bad figure at all, and he gets a bad, unnecessarily bad rap. But I really like this figure a lot. That is number 10. Number 9 is the Marvel Legends Venom. Um, a figure that was either one I was going to pick up if I found it, but I wasn't really going to worry about it if I didn't find it. And I found it in stores, so I decided to pick it up. And it is a really nice Marvel Legends figure. Um, the only reason it's so high on my list is because this year I also picked up the Marvel Select um, Venom, which wasn't released for this year, otherwise it would 100% be on this list. And that Venom figure is just way, way better for the most part. But this one's still really cool. Um, paint apps and sculpts are really nice. The Hyperion body mold actually works pretty well for this figure. It comes with a decent amount of interchangeable parts, so you have different displaying options, and the articulation is really good. In my opinion, it's a really good uh, Marvel Legends scale Venom and a good representation of the more classic uh, early 90s and cartoon Venom, which I think looks really cool. So he's at my number nine. 
Number eight is another Marvel Legend, which is the Marvel Legends Hobgoblin. Um, for whatever reason, I've always preferred Hobgoblin over the Green Goblin, and for some reason he's also one of my favorite Marvel supervillains, so when I heard he was getting a figure, I really wanted to get it, and I was able to find him, and I really like this figure a lot. The paint apps are really good. The sculpting works really nice. He has some cool accessories with his glider, pumpkin bomb, and an alternate head sculpt. And he's just really cool. Some of the, a little bit of the articulation is a little much to be desired. And I don't like the fact that his glider is a fair amount smaller than it should be. But aside from that, it's a really, really nice Marvel Legends figure. And definitely worthy beyond this list, I think. So that is number eight. Number seven, we're getting the Black Series figures. And number seven is K2SO from the Rogue One Black Series figures. This is a really great figure and a standout Black Series 6-inch figure. Just the sheer size of him is really cool. I mean, he's super taller than pretty much every other Black Series figure. Really good sculpting, great paint apps, and great articulation. The only thing I find with them is sometimes he can be a pain in the ass to stand. But aside from that, he is a really cool figure and probably one of my favorite characters from Rogue One. So this is a really great figure. And that is number seven. Or, yeah... Yeah, seven. Number six is the Black Series 6 inch Rogue One Scare of Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Um, again, a figure that I would pick up if I could find it, and if I didn't find it, well, it's a shame, but I wasn't going to cry over anything. And it is a really, really nice figure. I really like this figure a lot. I love the paint apps on it. He's got some weathering and whatnot, and everything's done really crisply and accurately. The sculpt's really nice on this figure. And he has some really great articulation. You get some really great pose on him. I love how he has the um, vertical hinge, I guess you could say, um, in this wrist. It makes him be able to get some really great aiming poses out of him. And the ball hinges and the shoulders actually move inwards a little bit so you can get some really really good poses the camera doesn't hinder articulation at all and it looks really good it's just a really really good looking figure um i haven't fooled around with it enough but it is really really nice i really like this figure a lot and the scarif stormtrooper design i think looks really cool so that is number six <coughs> number five is the Black Series 6 inch Django Fett. This is a really, really great figure. Um, not without his flaws, which is why he's only halfway through the list, but really great. He has some great paint apps, though I feel the blue on this helmet's a little too light, but the paint apps for the most part are really great. Articulation is pretty good for the most part. Um, I would like maybe a little more bend in the elbows, but it's not too bad. And he has a lot of great accessories with a removable helmet, which is really, really cool. And he looks really, really great. Um, really, the only problems I have with him is sometimes he can be a little bit of a pain to st stand, especially in more dynamic poses. And I've heard stories of people's wires on their arms breaking, which I can see. Mine luckily haven't broken yet, but I have heard that complaint. But it's still a really great figure and another standout Black Series figure, in my opinion. Really great figure. One of my top 10 Black Series figures and one of my top 10 figures of 2016. Next, we're coming in number four, which is a figure where I thought he'd go higher on the list, but I decided to put him here. But on any other day, he could easily be almost number one. But it is the Marvel Legends Deadpool. I was really lucky to be able to find this figure, and he is such a cool figure. Um, even though he reuses the Bucky Cat mold, he reuses it well with some newly sculpted parts. He's packs to the brim with accessories and weapons. Articulation's great. Sculpting and paint apps, really, really great, really expressive looking head sculpts and whatnot. Just such a fun figure with so many accessories and playability. It's just such a fun figure to play around with, photograph and just display. He looks so cool and I'm super happy to have this guy in my collection. And he is number four, though it could easily take a more lower spot given my mood, of course. Super cool figure, a highly recommended figure for sure. And at number three, getting down to the top three, we have the Black Series 6-inch Kanan Jarrus. This is one figure where 
Hasbro really hit all the right notes. He has good articulation, great accessories, good sculpting and detail and paint apps, and where they were really able to capture the animated look of Kanan and translate it into a more realistic look. And I think they succeeded greatly. It's such a cool figure from his shoulder armor to his pants and holster and his two-piece lightsaber. This is an excellent Black Series six-inch figure. And if you're collecting the line, a definite must-have. Such a cool figure. And he is my number three. At number two, we have a more recent acquisition. It is the Black Series six-inch Rogue One Director Krennic. I just really like this figure, and I'm probably a bit biased because I really like the character. But just such a really cool figure. This is one figure, um, Black Series figure, where I think Hasbro nailed the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt's absolutely fantastic, even without sort of the crazy um, paint apps and whatnot. I think they're able to get really w the sculpt and look of Krennic down really, really well. Looks really cool. He has the cape, which looks really nice. The Imperial officer uniform looks really cool. Articulation is good for the most part. He's a little bit loose at the hips, but for the most part, a really, really great looking figure. I absolutely love this figure. Definitely a one of my favorite Black Series Sections figures and one of my favorite figures of 2016. Very, very cool. And lastly, so I can wrap the video up, the last one is a Black Series Six Inch figure and it is the Black Series Six Inch Death Trooper. I really love, love the design of these guys. They were pretty cool in the movie though. They weren't in it that much. I really like the idea of them though being bodyguards of Krennic and whatnot. Now they're Tarkin Initiative officers. I love the armor design that's kind of based off Darth Vader and whatnot. Just the whole concept of the Death Troopers is really cool. Sculpt on paint apps on this guy is really great. Articulation is great. Accessories are really good. Really the only thing I think of is he's a slightly too skinny, I think, but it's not a huge deal. I don't think it's that bad. It adds a little more diversity to Troopers. I love how they're taller than most of the other figures and just so imposing and badass looking. Definitely my number one figure for 2016. That was released in 2016. Absolutely love this figure. And he's my number one pick. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Which were your guys' favorite figures of 2016? I'd like to know. Thank you guys again for watching, and may the force be with you.